Assalamu alaikum everyone. Uh, have you ever wondered uh, more about this trigonometry series that the stuff we talk about, like Sokotoa, how we can derive trigonometric functions, how can we use them? Do these work for all kinds of triangles? In this series, we've been primarily focusing on right triangles. But, what a, but geometry has a lot of triangles to offer. There are oblique triangles, triangles that do not have a right angle. So what about these triangles? Do, does trigonometry offer a law or any relationship that we can use to solve for these? Because Sokotoa won't work here. There's no hypotenuse here and et cetera, et cetera. The answer is yes, and today I will be showing you how. So the first one we'll be discussing today is the law of sines. This shows an oblique triangle with angles A, B, and C and sides A, B, and C where the sides are opposite of the angle. So side B is opposite of angle B, side A is opposite of angle A, etc., etc. For this triangle, Sine of A over A is equal to sine of B over B, which is equal to sine of C over C. And using this law, we can plug in things we know to work out things we don't know about this triangle. But how? Like, we know this is a law, but how do we solve for the values we're trying to find out? Well, let's look at a real example. Say a side angle, angle triangle. This angle has A missing B 50 degrees, C is 63 degrees, and sides C and A are missing, and B is 6. So we plug in this on the law of sines, and we can get A and C lengths using the law of sines. As for the angle, we use one of Euclid's axioms that all angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So we work out the angle, we get 67 degrees. Now we have 67 degrees over A is equals to sine of 50 degrees over 6, which is equals to sine of 53 degrees over C. Now, if you've been practicing math a lot, you'll be able to see that sine of 50 degrees over 6 can be used as a ratio to solve for the rest. So sine of 50 degrees over 6 is equal to sine of 67 degrees over A. Here we cross multiply, solve for A. We get 6 times sine 67 degrees over sine 50 degrees, and we get right around 7.21 side length. As for C, we use the same thing and we get right around 6.26 side length. So that was one example. But what if the side we know is in between the angles we know? Let's look at this triangle. In here, we can plug in sine 85 degrees over A is equal to sine B over 6, which is equal to sine of 45 degrees. And using, again, uh, all, add, uh, all angles add up to 180 degrees in the triangle, we get sine 50 over 6, and we use the ratio again to solve for this, uh, like we saw in the last example. So that's side angle angle triangles. But what if we know only one angle and two sides? Side side angle triangles. Let's take a look at this. Here we have A missing and we have angle, f angle B is the only one we know, 50 degrees. And side B is equal to nine, degree, nine side length and side A is equal to six. So let's plug it in to the formula or law. And here first we solve for sine A 
is over 6 is equal to sine 50 degrees over 9 because as you notice once again we have a sort of ratio so we put the 6 on the left sorry on the right and then we find the inverse sine and we get 30.71 degrees and using again all angles add up to 180 degrees we get 99.29 degrees right around that now let's plug this in and the only value we don't know is c so let's use our ratio again sine of 50 degrees over 9 is equals to sine of 99.929 degrees over c and we get 11.59 and there you go now you know how to find uh, things of a triangle using signs and we're almost done with trigonometry next video we're going to be looking at law of cosines and wrapping this series off and our physics series is sooner than you think so anyway that was that's all there is to it thank you for watching please make sure to like the video and share it to anyone who might need it and please subscribe and thank you for watching and i will see you next time Bye.